I challenge you to count the number of mess jokes I use throughout this video. And spoiler alert, it is too high for my own dignity. Remember those days when the biggest challenge was solving a tricky integral? Well, welcome to life after Oxford, where the problems aren't just theoretical anymore. Today you're joining me on a journey through the new normal as an Oxford med graduate navigating the streets of London. And spoiler alert, there's less Greek notation, but just as much brain power required. Don't get me wrong, it's not all Euclidean geometry, but it's definitely a calculated adventure. Stick around, it's gonna be a day full of equations, but just not the kind that you're used to. So, the first equation of the day, breakfast plus coffee equals fuel for the brain. Back at Oxford, breakfast was usually a rushed affair, but now I'm all about starting the day right. Now that the breakfast is sorted, it's time for a quick scroll for my agenda. I've got a few weeks before starting my new job, but there's plenty to prep for. Today's agenda includes some brushing up on financial analysis in Python, because in the real world, that solving for X often means finding the right data structure or debugging code, which is a bit less exciting, but still. These working sessions are usually a mix of reading up on industry trends, more coding practice, and sometimes even little problem solving for fun, because yes, I'm that kind of math nerd. But today, it's more about getting my head around the tools I'll be using at my new job. It's like studying for finals all over again but with the added excitement and slight terror of knowing that this time the results will actually impact my career but no pressure right i just can't let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only one no one likes being lied to you made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Okay, now it's time for a break. As much as I love staring at code, I've learned the importance of stepping away from the screen. One thing I've carried over from my time at Oxford and even before that in high school is the need to clear my head with some exercise. Plus, after sitting at my desk, my body's basically screaming for a good stretch. I find that exercise is like a mental reset button. It's that perfect break between coding sessions, helping me stay sharp and focused. Today's routine is a glutes and quads focused workout. I like to start all my leg days with a 10 minute max incline and walk on the treadmill to pump some blood into my veins. I am for six exercises, four or five sets each, depending on how it feels in the muscle. Then I normally finish off with an abs workout, which always seems like a breeze after hitting legs. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I'm gonna burn all the bridges between. After a solid workout, it's time to refuel. Lunch today is a balanced plate. High protein pasta, lean beef means some cucumber and cheese. It's simple but packed with everything I need to keep the brain firing on all cylinders. And yes, I still measure out my portions like I'm calculating some areas under a curve. Old habits die hard, I'm sorry. But really, it's all about balance. I've learned that staying healthy isn't just about what you eat, but also how you plan it. Kind of like constructing a good proof. Also, if you're interested in trying out some high-protein or low-calorie, absolutely delicious meals, do check out Skinny Food Company. Not sponsored, I just simply love their products and I use them daily. I do have an affiliate link though, so whenever you order, you can use the code Joanna Roman for a cheeky 20% off. I just need to clear my head. This place is a treasure trove of challenges and trust me, I'm treating every game like a probability problem. Should I aim left or right? Should I go for the high risk, high reward strategy or play it safe? It's like a real life decision tree only with a lot more flashing lights and probably fewer consequences. So here I am calculating the perfect arc for that basketball shot. 
forget Newton's laws of motion, I'm using my own laws. Now, statistically speaking, I have about a 30% chance of actually getting this in, but you know what? I'll take the results. Now, guacamole. This one's more my speed. Just like solving an optimization problem, identify the target, calculate the quickest path, and execute. It's all about finding that local maximum of more wacky efficiency. Mission accomplished. Prove that even when you're not solving equations, life can still be an absolute fair game. Plus the real price, the laughs along the way. Yes, I did in fact not win anything at all. I like to take advantage of the really short period of nice weather in London while I still can and that lately has meant having dinner with a view on a rooftop. Really makes me think how grateful I am for all the things in my life so far and makes me see that there is still so much more out there. So that's a day in the life of an Oxford maths graduate in London. It's a bit of old habits and new routines, balancing brain power with the basics of everyday life. And while the theorems might be behind me, the challenges ahead are just as exciting, if not a bit more real. If you enjoyed this peek into my post-Oxford life, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. If you're also making a big transition, whether it's from university to the real world or just from one city to another, drop a comment below. I will would absolutely love to hear your story. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed.